Tonight we highlight a more than 100 year old church in Natchez that played a pivotal role serving as a safe haven for African Americans during the Civil Rights Movement. The historic church is now receiving a special grant to help restore the building and preserve its rich, long history. Our Clinton Smith continues our Black History Month series tonight and tells you all about it. Beulah Missionary Baptist Church has been around for 111 years. But see, it's more than just a church. Get this, during the 60s, this was the place African Americans would gather for meetings and rallies discussing their strategies on how to take action against the hate and discrimination they were facing. Now, more than 100 years later, though the building of the church is crumbling, it's still standing as a symbol of light, hope, and inspiration in Adams County. This is the historic Beulah Missionary Baptist Church. Church leaders joining together for praise and worship. But to understand the true history behind the Natchez Church, you have to go back, way back, back to the late 1800s. In 1896, the church was established. In 1901, the church was built. 1911, I think around March, the church was destroyed by fire. In 1912, the church was rebuilt. And it's been standing tall ever since, opening its doors to thousands of people, especially during the 60s when African Americans were fighting to end racial inequality. Most of the meetings were held right here when they planned and they put strategies together on how they were going to uh, fight for civil rights and stand up against white supremacists. In fact, one of the biggest events happened in 1965. This church stood up against the violence, and the people of this church stood up, and they spoke out, and they marched in spite of the threats. George Metcalf, who was the president of the Adams County chapter of the NAACP, was almost killed when his car was bombed. People were outraged and wanted to take to the streets to protest. However, law enforcement told them they could not march or set up at the church because there was a curfew, but they still gathered anyway. As a result, hundreds were arrested and sent to Parchman Prison. When the people look back and see those people, they see courage. They see courage in the midst of fire. They see strength. They see grace, they see determination and persistence. They see that, hey, these were our people who stood up. And so it, it should instill in us a sense of pride. Years later, that great sense of pride and resilience still resonates all throughout the church. But you can also sense the aging infrastructure and challenges from bullet holes and windows to bricks cracking and shifting outside the building. Church leaders say repairs haven't been made in 111 years. The congregation is slimmer, slimmer, and slimmer. And so when you have that few people in your congregation, you don't necessarily have the funds to do everything that you need to do. But that will soon change. Beulah was selected to receive a grant from the Preserving Black Churches Grant Fund from the National Trust for Historic Preservation. This grant is going to allow the church to uh, restore and repair the steeple and the windows. Getting this blessing in the form of a grant was a uh, from Almighty God. Beulah is receiving $150,000 in grant money to help breathe new life into the building. But it's not just the upgrades and repairs that church leaders are excited about. It's knowing the rich heritage and history of Beulah Baptist will continue to live on for future generations. The main thing I think when they see this church, they see a sign of hope that no matter what happens, in our personal lives, in our community, in our country, and it doesn't matter who is president, we can and we will survive. Prayer, that's what keeps us going, our faith, our belief in God, and that we activate it. Churches sometimes have a smaller congregations and, and have trouble getting funding to repair their buildings. So to have a funding source like this is really important um, to save historic important structures like this one. Now, Beulah Baptist was one of more than two dozen churches from all across the country to receive this grant. 
The church will receive part of the money coming up in a few weeks. Repairs will start being made in a few months. Quentin Smith, 3 on your side.